Peter, sensational innings by you and by by P. Stefan. You you decided to take the bull by the horn and just go yourself up up the order and just uh, get the runs. Uh, what what was the thinking uh, that you and Stefan had, and what what was the plan that you had in your mind when you went out to bat? I think it pretty much like Steph said, we just went out there to hit the ball, and um, I guess we play a little bit differently. We're a left-handed and right-hander, and uh, I don't know. It came off tonight. Um, I think. We had nothing to lose, and I guess in uh, 2020 cricket, that can be quite a dangerous thing for the opposition. 190 to get 14.2 overs to get it in, to make it through to the second stage. A tall uh, order in that sense. Did you feel that Ireland had uh, probably scored 20, 30 more runs than you would have ho hoped them to? 100%. Uh, half time, uh, I know I walked off a little bit disappointed. Um, I guess, yeah, definitely. Uh, this was our worst bowling performance of this trip so far. We actually bowled really beautifully against Zimbabwe the other day and uh, to try and defend 140, which is never going to be easy. Uh, to take that to the last ball, we also bowled well to restrict UAE to 150, but today 190, yeah, I think that's probably 25, 30 runs um, too many. Obviously, Irish batters are good players, but we probably, uh, particularly, we, we definitely dished up a few too many half volleys, particularly in the first six overs. Um, and then Kevin O'Brien and, and Stuart Pointer, they're good players. And uh, they hit the ball cleanly. I think we hit, we probably bowled it a bit in their areas, but they'll probably say the same thing in their press conference for us. So uh, I think today anyone who watched the game saw a lot of clean hitting, not necessarily the best bowling performance, but from the three games, I think I've been pretty happy with the bowling. So today it was nice to see the batters, you know, really put uh, put our hands up and, and, and get that job done. When, when uh, you lost a couple of wickets in bunches uh, over there in the chase, did you feel that maybe, just maybe, this may not happen? Or were you confident that you had the uh, people in the Arsenal to do that? I don't think in any time you're chasing that many runs and you need, uh, you know, that sort of run, runs per over. If you lose wickets, of course, going to think um, maybe, you know, when Steph got out or when I got out or whatever, or Tom Cooper got out, you sort of think, OK, that might, maybe that's the end of that dream run. But uh, credit to the guys that came in. Um, Benny Cooper smashed a big six. Uh, Wesley Berezi, look, the last two, two big, big bombs that he hit were fantastic. I guess uh, everyone sort of went in there and did it on the day. It won't happen every time. We knew that. We had nothing to lose, and uh, you know, I guess it's sort of. I think it's reasonable reward. We can look at this 14 over chase and say, um, okay, that was something remarkable. Won't happen very often in cricket. Or you can say, well, we've actually played three reasonable games of cricket here and, uh, and we've qualified. Uh, you know, we were pretty unlucky the other night against Zimbabwe. Otherwise, we wouldn't have had to have done this in 14 overs. You know, we could, could have been winner takes all today. So, um, a And on that note, you have to feel a little bit for Ireland, who played two, two and a half very good games and, uh, and are going home. So it's, it's a tough, it's a pretty tough competition, this, trying to get first out of, you know, four teams. It's, uh, it's pretty brutal and, and we saw that it went wrong for them today and... And you've got to feel for them because they're a good cricket team uh, and they've played well uh, in the previous games. So a lot of emotion at the end of the match when, uh, when everything went through and you guys made it through to the second stage. What does this mean for, for the team and for you yourself? I'm very, from, well, I'm very proud of the boys, I guess. Um, I know how hard this team's worked, particularly in the last month, uh, actually in the last six months boys have worked really, really hard, and things didn't go for us in New Zealand. We came here to make a statement, and uh, and so far, you know, we've made that statement, I guess. I'm so proud of that effort. I'm so proud of all the effort that has gone in before this tournament for it to come together today. I mean, uh, we've obviously had a bit of luck. Boys have played really well, and uh, but just the effort and energy that's gone into getting to where we are now, uh, I feel as though we deserve some sort of luck, to be honest. Uh, you know, we, we didn't have any luck in New Zealand, and it's gone our way this time, and I hope that, if nothing else, that performance we just put out there has um, has shown what Netherlands cricket can do and shown what this team is capable of, as Steph said. And uh, I'm just so incredibly proud of that fact. I hope now that we can go and justify our, uh, our qualification from Group B, because it's, um, I mean... Those other, those other sides are good sides, and Ireland and Zimbabwe are good sides. Uh, we've managed to 
just top them. So I hope that we can do them the justice of going through to the next round and, uh, and performing creditably. We've seen over the last couple of days uh, the strength of world cricket as such. Ba Bang, uh, Nepal winning, Hong Kong winning, Afghanistan have done well, you guys have done well, Ireland's done well. What does it say about the depth of cricket worldwide right now? Well, I guess uh, at the lower end of the test, at this quality, we can't really say much about the top teams because we haven't seen them yet in this tournament, but definitely very extremely uh, competitive at this level, the, maybe the, the lower end of the Test Nations level as well. I, th I think, uh, you know, Hong Kong having lost two games and then knocking over Bangladesh yesterday. Um, it's pretty, it, it, there is, it's very competitive and that's where we missed out in New Zealand, although we're probably one of the favoured teams. You can have one bad day and, and, and these teams, you know, there's a lot of teams around who can punish you. And so the teams from sort of 8 to 16 or 8 to uh, even 18 or whatever there's, who are in the rankings. That there are a lot of competitive teams there and anyone can beat anyone on a day, and particularly in 2020 cricket. And I guess that's um, been shown in the last two days where you know, Zimbabwe have got up over UAE, which was probably expected, but the other three results wouldn't have been expected uh, with Nepal beating Afghanistan and Hong Kong beating Bangladesh and us beating Ireland. So I hope that people have enjoyed the cricket that's been played in this first phase of the um, the T20, I think there's been some fantastic games, particularly um, towards the end of this series. I think there's been some really good cricket, and, and I hope people have sort of sat up and noticed that um, that that there, whilst there are limitations to our cricket, um, we can also play, and we've worked really hard to get here. And there's a lot of talent there. Is is the mantra now going forward to be continue to play this brand of fearless cricket? <laughs> um, I, if, if it was up to me, we would, but <laughs> I don't know if you can just go out there and just swing uh, every ball uh, and, s and it's going to come off every time. I think we were 91 of the first six today. I don't think that's, uh, yeah, okay, I was definitely just hitting every ball for six. I, I would love to think that that could happen more often, and I guess uh, a positive approach and a fearless approach is one which, um, as I said earlier, can be very dangerous, but uh, at the same time, I don't think you're going to get away with it every day. Uh, we just got away with it today, but um, I'm, I'm definitely very keen for us to keep keep pushing for positive cricket. And th and if that if at that you're taking the risk, then that perhaps it goes pear shaped, and uh, and you maybe you get bowled out, but um, you're also giving yourself a chance to knock over some big boys. So we'll we'll continue to be positive. Has it sunk?